<laughs> well, hello, my spirit soars, and welcome back to Let's Play Detective Pikachu <laughs> Returns. So, um, where we left off, we've got some Pokemon with their humans. <laughs> And now we just need to look for the ducklet. Mmm, that smells sweet. It's irresistible. They must be using Combi's honey. Uh, let's get back and try it after we're done with the case. <laughs> Alright. Hi Hat Cafe, this must be it. Hmm. <gasps> ah! oh, Rachel Myers, student at Ryan University. And Jessica Miller, Rachel's friend. Oh wow, what a coincidence running into you here. Yeah. I'm as surprised as you are. Mm, I think I've seen this girl somewhere before. Oh, I remember. Howard's a notebook. She's the girl from the photo. The mayor's daughter. <laughs> yes, Pikachu, this is Rachel. We go to college together. She's the mayor's daughter. <laughs> right, right. And you said she knows a lot about Pokemon too, didn't you? And she's just a classmate, or... See, this is why I don't like telling you about my personal life. I'm just looking out for you. I've never heard you talking about people that you actually having fun with people. <laughs> well, anyway, where's my manners? Who's the woman next to her? I know about as much as you do, I don't think we've met before. Hey, Jessica, have you heard of these? Of course, it's an honor to meet your, your acquaintance of the great detectives. Oh, by the way, Tim, were you talking to Pikachu just now? Uh, what? Uh, no, no way. Ah, uh, no need to be embarrassed. I totally understand. The urge to talk with your partner. But now that you're here, why don't you chat with us for a little bit? Uh, yeah, sure. You and Pikachu must be working hard, huh? She's so Actually cute. More helpful than he looks. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, Pikachu. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, Tim. You can't give me a better compliment than that. <laughs> you seem different from usual somehow. Don't tell me that a word of my dad gave you is already starting to change you. <laughs> no, of course not. I'm the same as I've always been. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I mean, uh, we don't uh, really know each other all that well. Maybe you have the wrong impression of me. No way. I've had my eye on you for a while now, Tim. E excuse me? Oh, does she mean what I think she means? It's like I have a front row seat of the great detective in action. It feels like an exciting new adventure could break out at any moment. <laughs> right. Did you get your hopes up for a moment there, Tim? Quiet, you! <laughs> it is such an honor to meet you, Tim. I love your Thank necklace you so of Meowth. That's so no cute! She has a little Meowth <laughs> necklace. That is so adorable! <laughs> I know she has a necklace, but seeing her up close in a cutscene really shows the detail what she's wearing. That's so incredible. 
I see news about your accomplishments on TV all the time. You're quite the celebrity. Celebrity? I wouldn't quite go that far. I'm really not all that. No need to be modest. You're a great detective after all. Jessica used to work with my mother years ago. That's how we met, and we've been friends ever since. Oh, I see. That's quite a history. But it's been a while since we've met up like this. About two years, I think. We've both been so busy lately. There just hasn't been time to get together. I had no idea you'd become friends with the famous great detective. Were you surprised? Of course! I mean, do it. Hey, I'm the great detective. Oh, by the way, Tim, I worked at a pizzeria in Bamboo Borough. It's a fancy pizzeria. Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Maybe you've heard about the place. If you're ever in the area, stop by. I'll treat you to one of our awesome pizzas. <laughs> Alright, did you hear that, Tim? Let's go sometime. The pizza place where Jessica works is actually pretty famous. <laughs> Sounds great, I'd love to go. Man, I would love some pizza. I'll take you up on that offer. I'll be waiting. Tim, there's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. What's up? What's, what's the situation? Well, it's about something going on at home. Uh, it sounds serious. I'm not sure how much help I'll be, but you can always talk to me. I don't want to waste your time, though. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm work working right now, but we could meet up tonight if you're free. Sure, that, that sounds like a plan. Thank you, Tim. Okay, then. How about you stop by my apartment later this evening? Hey, not bad, Tim. But aren't we supposed to have dinner with your family tonight? Yeah, but this sounds serious. I just can't brush it off. Her... I, d I can't uh, deny her offer. The least I can do is hear her out for a little bit. Uh, fair enough. I'm sure your family will understand. <laughs> oh. Hey, Tim. Jessica seems really grateful to us for solving the R case two years ago. Nice to know our hard work wasn't for nothing. Jessica? Jessica? Was that the R incident? Huh. <gasps> Ludicola and Pablo! <laughs> Good to see you, Pablo Milan. <laughs> How you doing, girl? Ludicolo. Hi, Tim. Did something happen today? I noticed you weren't here this morning. Yeah, I got caught up in a new case. Oh, sounds rough. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Me? Sure, go right ahead. So, about a ducklet. Do you know what the ducklet that lives at Dennis' residence? Yeah, I know her. You're talking about Barnes' partner, right? She often comes here all on her own to buy coffee beans. She really is a clever little Pokemon. A really cute one is at that as well. Just like Barnes said. She always comes with a cute little bag that I fill with the beans for her. Oh man, I've never seen any duck little that ever has like a little bag around their shoulder. It flies off with the coffee beans. As far as I know, she takes them straight back to the mansion. In fact, she left with her usual order a couple of minutes ago. Thanks for the testimony. Really? A 
about Barnes? Do you know the butler? Uh, do you know the butler? The butler from Dennis Mansion? Yeah, he swings on by the cafe pretty often after he's done with his work. Barnes is a regular customer, huh? Yeah, he loves coffee and jazz. So we've got plenty to talk about. But apparently he's been really stressed lately. So he hasn't been stopping by as much. He's been really stressed out. What's the cause of that? Uh, you should probably ask for more details about that, Tim. What's the stress on this butler situation? Do you know why Barnes was stressed? Was he worried about something? Oh, uh, well, I'm not sure it's my place to tell you about a customer's personal matters. Please, we're trying to help. It's for Barnes' sake. Ah, oh, so this is a for a case, huh? Then I guess I'd better tell you everything, every detail you would need to know. He was worried about the jewel that Mr. Dennis wasn't planning to donate to Rhyme City. Apparently, the Dennises had a diff difference of opinion about that. Barnes was trying to come up with a compromise that would satisfy both of them. But he said he just wound up getting stuck in the middle of the argument. That does sound stressful. I feel bad for him. I remember him saying he wished there was no jewel in the first place. He wished there was no jewel, huh? Anyway, that's all I know. I hope it helps. Yes, thanks very much of your help and time. How about the Hi Hat Cafe? It must have been really busy moving your cafe to this new location. Do you feel all settled in now? Yeah, it feels like things are finally back to normal. I got even more customers here. I know Pikachu's been coming here on his own too to drink your coffee. I hope he hasn't been causing you any trouble. Trouble? Me? I am a paying customer once you pick up my tab. <laughs> Not at all. The cafe is way closer to your place now, and it seems like Pikachu feels very comfortable here. And the Hi Hat Cafe always welcomes Pokemon customers. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Pokemon customers everywhere. Let's start deducing. We've got everything we need to make our deductions. Let's solve the puzzle, Tim. Uh, are you sure about that? Okay, I'll, I'll try. Alright, situation on this ducklet. Where'd the ducklet go? Uh, red Pokemon. Let's see here. Okay, begin deducing. Did you figure out where Ducklet went after she left the mansion? Let's piece together the information we've gathered. Most likely reason Ducklet isn't at the mansion is because she went out to buy coffee beans from Hi Hat Cafe. Hmm. Went to Hi Hat Cafe? Okay. <laughs> It's best I try to read on both situations. <laughs> I just need to assess the situation before <laughs> making a conclusion of clicking on things. Didn't Douglas go to the Hi Hat Cafe and pick up the coffee beans? Yeah, apparently she goes there on a regular basis to buy them. Today was one of those days. 
and Pablo said that he handed Ducklet her usual order of the coffee beans. So I guess Ducklet headed back to the mansion then. She might be back there already. But where is Ducklet? Alright, <laughs> so we know that the Ducklet came here. Let's head back to the mansion to search for Ducklet. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Let's go talk to you, girl. How you been? Still singing and dancing as always. Having a good time. How'd it go? Looks like she's in a good mood as always. Do you think she might know something? She might. We can ask. About Ludicolo. How you doing? Buddy! You say you've got an ear for rock now? Not just jazz? Buddy! Apparently a polite... Politoed and its friends have put on concert here at night. Buddy! And you really love that music? So that's how you went from jazzist to rocker. I'd love to hear a Polytoad's uh, concert sometime. Do you know anything about Ducklet? Have you seen Ducklet recently? Woody! She says Ducklet comes to the cafe pretty often. Pablo knows more about that apparently. Woody! Oh, and you sometimes see Ducklet at Serenity Park. I see, so the pond water there is good for your fur. And you met the ducklet there sometimes when you go to bathe. How nice that you tell each other about good swimming spots. I guess water type Pokemon get along swimmingly with each other. <laughs> That's a good joke <laughs> or a pun. <laughs> uh, I suppose we'll head back to the mansion. All right. Going back to the mansion at Dennis's residence. <laughs> Sorry, I was thirsty. Uh oh, Brad is a talking. What in the world were you doing? My apologies, sir. Hey Brad, did something happen? Ducklet was spotted near the mansion just now. But when my subordinates tried to catch her, they let her escape. Oh, so Ducklet had just gotten back to the mansion? Do you know where she ran off to? Unfortunately, I do not. And I don't have the resources to keep searching. At this point, I'll have to call in the services of the Pokemon Protection Bureau. What do you mean? You! Tell the inspector that I'm heading back to the station for a moment. Yes, sir. Well, Brad and Min Minute trick are gone. But still, we have no idea where a Ducklet could have run off to. Where would we even start looking? Well, now what? Should we put the search for a Ducklet on hold and look for the red Pokemon instead? Yeah, sure. That's better than just spinning our heels. Wheels, I mean. <laughs> There are still places we haven't looked. Let's check them out. Uh, search for the red uh, Pokemon. Whimsy! Cut, cut! A 
seem happy. What are they talking about? They're saying that no matter how many times they visit the city, it's always bustling and full of fun. And do you suppose they witnessed anything? We can certainly ask. Excuse me. Oh, and sorry. <laughs> oh, you ride on s seasonal winds? That'll take you all over the world, huh? The city seems even livelier than usual. Whenever the Whimsicott arrive. Oh, ah, okay. Soon you'll be leaving this city to travel somewhere else. Oh, you like coming here every year. Because you can meet so many different Pokemon? Oh, I'm happy to hear about that. About the cotton. Is this cotton yours? When? When? Yeah, the Whimsicott said it's theirs. Noted testimony. We actually found this in Mr. Dennis's mansion. You don't suppose you've been in there? Maybe you have, and maybe you haven't. Come on, you've got to remember at least that much. Whoopsie! Oh, this one does remember. What did it say? It thinks it remembers going into the mansion while playing with its friends. It thinks so? That's not a very clear answer. Yeah, let's ask for more details. About a red Pokemon. Have you two seen any red Pokemon around here? Cut, cut. Oh, Ponyard is red? And you've recently become friends with one? Ponyard? It's a Pokemon with blades all over its body. And it's true that uh, Ponyards are pretty red. Whimsy cut, cut. You've often run into a Ponyard at the Terrace in Serenity Park, and on windy days you play with Ponyard by picking it up and flying it around. When? They said it, they like to fly Ponyard all the way here from Serenity Park. Serenity Park is the big park just beyond here, right? Yeah, and the terrace is way over on the far side. Maybe we could find Ponyard there. Do you remember when you last played with Ponyard? When? When? See? Oh, lately you've been playing together every day? Even today? In that case, we might be able to find it there now. Whimsie. If we go meet the Ponyard, we should be careful about how to treat its favorite rock. It has a favorite rock. Whimsy win. Apparently there's a rock at the terrace that Ponyard really cares about. One time they accidentally stepped on it, and then Ponyard got really mad. I mean, real mad. Wow, that's scary. We better watch where we step. Hold on. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm thirsty. <clears throat> okay. So, have you seen a ducklet around here? I don't suppose they've seen a ducklet around, have they? Well? Okay, okay, I get it. You didn't see her. Whimsy. If they didn't see her, I wonder where she went. Oh, is there a new one? Okay. You said you might have been in the mansion, but how'd you get inside? 
win. Huh? You went in through the window with your friends? They would you why would you do that? Fancy. You don't remember anything after eating breakfast this morning? The heck does that mean? Please, it's really important. Just try to remember. Some human you don't know asked you to do it? What was this stranger like? Whimsy. You don't remember because it was someone you'd never seen before, huh? Now look here. You might be an accessory to theft. Cut. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? You think the Whimsicott may have been unknowingly involved in the crime? If they were, they're blissfully ignorant of it. After all, playing pranks is kind of their whole deal. This complicates things. <laughs> Whimsicott are being sassy on us. <laughs> Do you suppose Pontiard is the red Pokemon we're looking for? Apparently, it's good friends with the Whimsicott that went into the mansion, so it seems pretty likely. It'd probably be fastest just to go meet it and ask. Whimsicott said they often meet up the Pony meet up with Ponyard in Serenity Park, right? That's right. Searching there might be our best shot at finding Ponyard. No time like the present. Present. Let's head over there, Tim. All right, to the park again. All right. Oh no, I'm leaving Pikachu behind. Uh, Pikachu. Are you doing all right, buddy? <laughs> oh no, you get you. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You need to get in shape. <laughs> this is where the Whimsicott usually meet up with Pontiard, right? That's right. Th this is where they said... But I don't see it anywhere. If it was here earlier, maybe it left some kind of sign. Well, Ponyard are often known for their blades. It's not much, but it's the only lead we've got. We better get looking. And we're gonna look for the Ponyard. Got some lead on um, Ducklet, but then we lost Ducklet. <laughs> Location? of its whereabouts. So now we're trying to find Ponyard. So uh what's up with this rock? It's covered in gashes. Has something been scratching at it? These gashes look like they were left by something sharp like a blade. Alright. Huh. Huh. I doubt a human would be strong enough to make clean cuts like these. Alright. Where is a polyard? These torn up leaves have rough, uneven edges. Alright. Do you suppose Pontiard did that? Huh. They look like they were bitten, not cut. Bitten. Huh. This cotton. It probably fell here when the Whimsicott were playing with Ponyard. Whimsicott's cotton. <laughs> We've got everything we need to make our deductions. Let's solve this puzzle, Tim. 
Okay then. Uh, begin deducing. Did you figure out where the red Pokemon is? Ponyard and the Whimsicott appear to apparently play together often since they flew to Dennis' residence together. We might be able to find Ponyard if we search inside the mansion. Maybe this is it? Okay. We did find a rock that was covered in slashes as if it had been cut up by the sharp blades. Maybe those slashes were made by Ponyard. That's definitely the rock. What the Whimsicott were talking about. So if we go to where that rock is, we might find Ponyard there. Alright, let's take a look around that rock. Can you think of any way to draw out Body art here. Uh, climb on the rock. Whimsicott said that Ponyard got angry when they stepped on the rock. Oh yeah, you're right. Good memory. Maybe Ponyard will show up if one of us climbs on it. Worth a shot. Let's give it a try. Be careful. How's this? <laughs> Just act natural. <laughs> I just hope it's actually here to see this. Fun! <laughs> what kind of voice was that? <laughs> what? Oh, there he is. Hello there. <laughs> Here's the pony art. Just like Whimsicott said. Bun, 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 bun. <laughs> okay, it's saying, Darest thou tread upon my cherished rock? What is the meaning of this? Thine answer shall determine what thy fate. I will show thee no mercy. Wait, what? Wow, it's really angry. <laughs> hey, sorry about that. We just wanted to find you. We weren't trying to mess up with mess up your rock or anything. Bang! Phew, thank goodness. It said it'll forgive us, but just this once. Bang! You wanna know why we were looking for you? Fair enough. We've got some questions for you we'd like to ask you. Uh, would you mind talking with us for a little bit, Ponyard? Ban! It says it'll talk. How about you, Ponyard? Ban! So you've been traveling all over as part of your journey to a warrior hood? I'm sorry, did you say journey to warriorhood? <laughs> Yo, this is so funny. <laughs> Apparently it travels all over the place to practice and improve its moves. Bang! Ba 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 bang! <laughs> it says it's because it was born with these planes. It wishes nothing more than to master them. If Ponyard is that proud of its blades, I bet they have razor sharp edges. Bun! Bun, bun! It says it can easily slice a rock in two. This might sound a little bit strange, but you haven't, uh, punched anyone recently, have you? 
button. Ponyard said it never punched a single per never punched a single person or Pokemon in its life. Fun. Uh, good point. You should cut something with those hands of yours, but you definitely wouldn't punch it. Yeah, on second thought, you'd wind up with a different injury if you were punched by Ponyard. Are there any other Ponyards in this city besides you? Fun. What's it saying? Apparently it's never seen any other Ponyards around here. So he's just the only one. So there must be another red Pokemon around here, I suppose. About the Dennis residence. We heard from some Whimsicott that you... That they went into the mansion, at Mr. Dennis's mansion. Were you the one who went in there with them? Fine. Ponyard's not sure if it was the same place, but... It vaguely remembers going into a big house. Fine. It says it entered the house together with the Whimsicott. So, how did you get inside the mansion? Yo! <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> oh my god. That's so cute and so... So comical. Ponyard likes to get picked up and flown around with the Whimsicott's. So you think you might have gone inside the mansion that way? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you happen to cut a jewel case when you were in that mansion? Fine. So you can remember the sensation of cutting through something with the rest is a blur? This is important. You gotta remember. So please, try harder. Every detail. Fine. It says its mind it feels all foggy. And it just can't remember what was going on at the same time. At that time. <laughs> that sure makes things difficult now. Fine. Bye fine. Okay. About a ducklet around here. Have you seen a ducklet around here? Anywhere at all? Fun. It hasn't seen her. Yeah, great. Where could ducklet have gone to? We finally managed to find a Pontiard, but we weren't able to learn anything useful from it. Yeah. And some of it said uh, even contradicted testimony we gathered earlier. Maybe we could get more information if we had proof that Ponyard entered the mansion. Fun. It's asking if we're done here so it can get back to training. What sort of training does it do? Fun. Fun, fun, fun. It's planning on cutting rocks and things it to sharpen its skills and blades. Cut rocks? Wow, would it be willing to demonstrate for us? Oh, good idea! It would be a really big help to see what a cut from Ponyard looks like. Will you mind a demonstration? Pun! Pun, pun, pun. Yeah, it says it would happily grace us with a demonstration. Wow, thank you! We'll watch 
quietly so you can focus. <gasps> Got here, did I? art for you. Oh, this clean slice and the metallic sound. Ponyard's blade made when it made contact. And it's cut in a diagonal shape. Ponyard's blade made when it made contact. It all matches with what we know of the crime scene. So that means the Pokemon that entered the mansion must have been Ponyard. But neither Whimsicott or Ponyard remembers clearly what's up with that. So were they put up to... Were they put up to it? Or something? They thought it, they were just a... Uh, try to play around or something and so the real thief could get the jewel oh the I can't imagine that the Pokemon are lying their behavior was pretty unusual but there must be a good reason for it it's like some of the Pokemon don't even know better and was told that they would uh, be used for their skills, and the real thief made off with a jewel. So they used them as tools, I think. That's my theory. <laughs> We've looked all over the place, but we haven't seen Ducklet anywhere. Apparently, she almost got caught earlier, but then ran away. So maybe she's hiding somewhere. Then how are we going to find her? How are we going to find Ducklet? How can we find Ducklet? The search for Ducklet continues and have gone cold. And she could be anywhere. If the important testimony to share. Consider the clues at the scene of the crime to deduce how to find her. Yeah, Ducklet could be anywhere. We could get much useful information from Ponyard. I think Ducklet is our only good lead now. I guess we need to keep asking around then. I don't know. Maybe she got scared and went into hiding. If she did, it'll be really hard for just the two of us to find her. Yeah, how should we look for her then? Good question. How about we ask a Pokemon to help us? A Pokemon? Yeah, Pokemon have all sorts of special skills. Maybe there's a Pokemon that can help us find Ducklet. Do you think it'd be willing to help us though? I'm sure one of the Pokemon in the dentist residence could gladly help us out. After all, the theft happened in their own home. Good point. Let's go back to the mansion and ask the Pokemon there for help. <laughs> Tears but a scratch. <laughs> That's so cute. <clears throat> oh great, my camera's about to die. Uh, how about I get closer to the mansion and uh, I'll st see if I can stop right there so I can charge up my camera. <laughs> Alright. Come on Pikachu. Pikachu! This is no time to get a little bit winded. Oh god! How wonderful to meet you, Detective. Seriously, it's an honor. Uh, yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Can I help you with anything? Huh? Do you really not know who I am? I'm kind of a big deal on Rhyme University campus. And I know you go to school there, too. 
know anything about this so-called big deal, Tim? Not that I can think of. They call me the quiz professor. I'm actually still a student, but that's what they call me. And this is my partner, Toucanon. Toucanon. Nice. <laughs> so you're uh, the quiz professor? That's me. I am majoring in Pokemon studies. I can't resist sharing the knowledge I've learned, so I quiz all sorts of people. That explains the nickname. This quiz professor is definitely one of the eccentric side. Geno! Geno! I should have gone with a different uh, vocals. <laughs> I'll admit, you got me there. A Pikachu doing detective work is pretty eccentric too. Why don't we celebrate our meeting with a quiz? Um, we're pretty busy working on a case right now. Okay, here's the first question. Uh, did you even hear me? In one ear and out of the other. Ah, uh, well, guess it can't be helped to do helped to play along. I guess here goes nothing. What well, Pokemon catches prey using its long tongue? A Pokemon in question is somewhere in this very city. So get out there and look for it. What's your tongue like, too, Kenan? Mind uh, open up your big mouth or big beak, I should say. Kenna! Nothing extraordinary there. Thanks anyway. A Pokemon with a long tongue, huh? If there's a one nearby, it shouldn't take too long for us to find. When you find that Pokemon in question, come tell me what it is. I'll be waiting right here. Answer correctly, and I'll even teach you some trivia about it. <laughs> okay, so we got a quiz master here. <laughs> I think it might be a Lickitung. But uh, let's see if we can actually find it. Oh, and uh, Blessed Bee, show some support. I love you guys. Bye and good night. Just in case if I lose the <laughs> recording, <laughs> my camera's really about to die. Oh, here it is. Lit. That's a long tongue. I'm amazed it stretches so far. So, Tim, this Lickitung might be the answer to that quiz question. I think you're right. Let's go tell the quiz professor. <laughs> well, we found it. And I knew it. <laughs> uh, pardon me. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah. Quiz professor. I found it. So, Detective, did you figure out the answer to my first question? I sure did. It's a Lickitung, right? Bingo! Yes, you got it! Lickitung uses its long tongue to catch its prey. According to reports, contact with its saliva causes a tingling sensation as well as a persistent itch. Oh wow, good thing we didn't get licked. Uh, I'm feeling itchy all just imagining it. Gano! <laughs> Thanks for warning, Toucan. Toucanon. We'll make sure any Lickitung we meet keeps its tongue to itself. Well, that was only the first question. I guess it was a little too easy. Are you saying there's more? Of course there is more. And there's where, lots more where they come from. Here's where they get serious. Time for question number two. What Pokemon uses its cute looks to put you off your guard so it can steal from you? Hey, we don't have time to deal with another theft. Hmm. What Pokemon tries to steal from people? I think that cute looks part is our biggest hint. Toucanon! Pretty sure it's not you, Toucanon. Gano! 
totally. Okay, Tim, let's go search for the area about this Pokemon. Okay, so, uh... Wait, did I pass it? Hmm. Let's see here. Alright, here we are. So, um, I'll see you guys. Plus a B, show some support. We're gonna interview the Pokemon in the mansion and find the Pokemon for the quiz map professor. So, um, plus a B, show some support. I love you guys. Bye and good night.